Jackie and welcome back to another movie magic tutorial this time based on the new movie Terminal starring my fave girl Margot Robbie she's also a producer on it and then we have Simon Pegg and Mike Myers also starring in the film so a lot of familiar faces and I'm actually sponsored by the movie Terminal which is so cool I got to see an early screening and it's definitely check it out. So a little bit about Terminal, it's a stylized thriller and there are two assassins carrying out a sinister mission, a very odd janitor, a teacher battling a fatal illness, and then a curious waitress leading a dangerous double life. So murderous consequences unravel as the characters intertwine at the dead of night at the hands of a mysterious criminal mastermind hellbent on revenge. Boom. And the looks happen to be very retro chic, so they were really fun to play with. And the whole world of the movie is very seedy but glamorous at the same time. So I had a lot of fun with this, and you should definitely check out the movie Terminal on opening weekend in theaters. So I will have all of the information listed down below. You can check it out in the down bar. And let's get started with these looks. Starting off with this pinup inspired look, I thought the Benefit Pearl Professional packaging so suited this whole vibe, and it feels gorgeous on the skin as a smoothing base. And foundation, we want full coverage that looks natural for this look. I'm using Bare Minerals foundation today and stippling it all over with my IT Cosmetics brush. And her skin does have more of a yellow undertone to it, so that's why I picked out the shade Natural from this line. And to keep it bright under the eyes, on the chin, nose, and forehead, use a brightening concealer or illuminator. I like to use something more sheer in texture on the chin, around the nose, and forehead, so we aren't using too much product, and then concealer under the eyes like the Maybelline Age Rewind, and bring this up the cheekbones, and then blend in. Like in my Naomi from Wolf of Wall Street tutorial, quite a bit of contour is needed for me to resemble Margot a little bit. I love to use this Revlon Colorstay Cream Shadow as a nose contour because it stays put and really creates that illusion, but once you apply it, it really does stay put. So I attempted to contour my cheeks with this, and while I had the shape that I wanted, um, creating more of a hollowed out cheek look with higher cheekbones, I definitely applied too much and then couldn't go back. <laughs> so it looks great from far away, but in this first look, you gotta cut me some slack on the intensity of the contour when it's really close up but the nose contour again is super important for this transformation so I'm creating an indent between my eyes creating a diamond like shape moving downwards fading from there into the nostrils and then I like to accent the corners of the tip there and I blend in with my fingers and then when we add in the highlight it will start to look quite believable and time to set the skin this super finely milled powder from Hourglass is amazing. I'm setting underneath the eyes especially and just around my face using tapping motions and I've also added this into the brows to help lighten them. Attempting to warm up my ashy contour with a bit of bronzer around the temples, cheekbones, and down the neck. I love this Guerlain bronzer in terracotta. It has a peach blush mixed in and it's gorgeous on the skin. A similar dupe would be a Milani bronzer blush. They have some great ones as well. And for my actual blush shade, typically I'd go with Dallas from Benefit to hollow out the cheeks while adding in some rose, but because I went too deep with the contour already, I went with a more subtle dusty rose shade called Desert Rose from MAC and I'm blending this into the hollows and blending outwards. And finally to add in some of that skin like texture, I'm layering the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is magic for bringing back in some dew to the skin and making sure everything looks a bit more 3D and glowing without a strobing effect. So I already did do some highlighting um, before I applied the powder, but if you ever need to go back in and add some life, this is my go-to product. Brows, I'm using a lighter taupe from MAC, keeping them natural with a slight arch and then keeping it faded from the head. This is the shade I use whenever I have lighter hair. And time for shadows. I'm throwing it back to one of my all-time favorite palettes, the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Never gets old the smell of this peachy palette, and we want a really simple base with the Nectar Shadow all across the lid. It has a bit of a gold shift to it. And using two peach shadows, bring in some warmth to the inner and outer lid. Margot's eyes are not super deep set, so I'm bringing forward my brow bone with a matte light shade. Also pop this on the top of the lid. Mm -hmm. 
using a matte ash brown, adding a touch of depth to the outer crease in a V, keeping this light. And in the waterline, go in with a brightening liner. I just use the Nectar shadow again with some MAC Fix Plus to really keep the eyes sparkly. And right underneath the bottom lashes, I've lined the eye and smoked out uh, with the shade Caramelized from the same palette. And at the very base of the lashes, using the shade Summer Yum. This looks great on every eye color, especially green or blue because the shades are very warm and it'll just make the eye color pop. And now for the most distinct part about Annie's liner, it's a gorgeous teal blue and the perfect shade for this is Marc Jacobs liner in the shade C. She wears this throughout the whole movie. And layer this up in a thick straight line past the lash line and you've got it down. You can add a tiny line of black liquid liner along the lashes and then curl and apply a natural coat of mascara like Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I love that movie makeup tends to be light on the lashes and the eyes. I think it's a nice switch up. And then align the lips with a magenta E red. We want a rounded soft cupid's bow with a full lower lip. I love these MAC Lip Tensity lip liners. They're really easy to use and you never have to sharpen them, which is my favorite thing. And look, you know this pretty gold packaging. I added to my Charlotte Tilbury collection with this moisturizing bright fuchsia lipstick called Velvet Underground. Also thought the shade really fit the world that the movie was in as well. But you can always check the down bar for a dupe from the drugstore. waitress hair she had loose victory rolls on either side with some face framing waves when I made the rolls too upright you could really see the wig lining so I decided to go with a very loose swirl on either side and check out the information button for more retro hairstyles that I did actually on my own hair because it's a easier tutorial to follow and then just tie your hair up into a mid pony and wrap your own hair around it using bobby pins to keep it in place and let's head to the diner and I'll show you a quick look at everything together. So I found this dress vintage shopping and it's such a close fit, but I actually used Sharpie and changed some of the red stripes to teal and it took me forever. Like I used one of those tiny Sharpies and then I sewed white cuffs and created a makeshift apron to complete this style. And while some of this tutorial, like the nose contour and just contour in general and wig are helping me look more like Margot, I'm actually obsessed with this liner and lip combo. I think with a more natural face base, it would be a perfect everyday retro look. Moving on to look two, I have the same makeup on as look one, but my contour, I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Cream Contour to deepen up the cheeks. And for the eyes, deepen up the shadows on the bottom with a bit of black. And this lip combo is killer. I felt daring and went right in with Valiant Matte Lipstick from MAC, not even using a lip liner. And what's so cool about this look is there was a teal and green within the lip that really made the liner and the eye color pop on Annie, Margot's character. I'm a big fan of the retro mattes from MAC. This one is in the shade Young Attitude. And lastly, on and on lipstick, which has a beautiful frost with a unique green shift. So fun, I just kept applying this and it makes your teeth look really white, so that's a plus. And I actually cleaned the lipstick off and added a bit of this shimmer to the lash line just for fun. And check this look out, here it is all together. For this hairstyle, I got the victory rolls more down and I left the rest of the hair flowing. And what I love about this very burlesque style was the feather detailed headpiece. So I took two clips and then I added feathers and I took some beaded detailing from a headband I had and then hot glued it on and I thought it looked so cool it would be perfect for a costume. And this look was my favorite and super memorable in the film with big vintage inspired earrings and a fur jacket. Of course, faux fur is the way to go on this channel. I found this one at a costume store in Toronto, but you can also find similar styles vintage shopping. And comment below if you like the quirky waitress look or the burlesque babe look better. Uh, yep, comment and don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it.
thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Margot Robbie transformation. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more beauty videos. I actually had a lot of fun trying to find like the costuming for these looks. I had a quite a short amount of time to create this video, but I found most of it vintage shopping, which is something I don't normally do. And I love the makeup, the hair, I tried my best. I am wearing a wig. And if I made it too much like her updo, you can totally tell it's a wig. So I had to mess it up a little bit, but hopefully you got some beauty inspiration and all of the information about the movie will again be linked down below. And I'm just so excited about this. Like I go see movies like every weekend. That's what I do for fun. So definitely check it out. And uh, I will see you guys in my next tutorial as well as over on my Instagram where you guys can stay updated with me. So see you over there and see you next time.